happy Facebook Live time. Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. I think I'm just a little bit late running around getting ready for the live. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Facebook. And then I post this video to YouTube so other people can enjoy it as well if you don't partake in Facebook. So um, I see people joining in, yay. Hi, Dean. Say hello, say um, something to me of where you're from, anything, just hello. Um, I love to know who's out there. Hi, Pam, yay. <laughs> okay, there's this little button now on the side. Have you guys noticed that Facebook has changed? Hi, Tina, I just waved at you. <laughs> I don't know, the wave button shows up on some people and not others. Hi, Kathleen, hi, Kimmy, hi, Gail, yay. People are joining, so fun to have you guys here. So I have some fun today, as always. Hi, Christy. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to share a success first, just quick. I have been trying to cut down or actually eliminate sugar in my diet. Now that doesn't include fruit or juice and I haven't been sugar-free since July 1st. Yay me. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to identify how it's helping me, but I know it'll, it'll make me feel better anyway. Um, Anyway, so that's my little personal success today I wanted to share. Um, and I have a f just a few quick announcements and the way today is gonna go is just a little bit different from usual. Um, I'm gonna do a few announcements and then I'm gonna just jump right into the project. And then I have some other fun treats and I don't know who wants to partake in my other fun treats. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it towards the end and that way you can decide if you wanna stay or you wanna go. So um, after I do the project demonstration, I'm gonna do a little behind the scenes tour of my workspace and um, what I've been working on these last several weeks. It's kind of a unique time um, and I'll explain that in just a bit. Uh, and I thought I would take the opportunity to show you what it what what's happening in the treehouse um, And then I'm gonna show you all the new goodies and projects that I've gotten so um, So much fun new products in the holiday mini catalog. That's of course. Well, it's now called the August to December mini catalog <laughs> Thank you Kimmy for celebrating my little success <laughs> We'll see how long I last. I've lasted about a month total doing no sugar at different points, and I do find that it helps me feel better. Uh, so anyway, thanks, Kimmy. Appreciate it. Um, so anyway, so just the quick announcements today. You guys know this month during June, actually through August 3rd, our bonus days. So for every $50 in merchandise you spend, you get a $5 coupon to spend starting August 4th through the end of August. Um, so that's always pretty fun to get a little extra perk like that. Um, I miss having you in the treehouse, Dean. <laughs> I catch little comments here and there. Um, let's see. Um, uh, train of thought. This is what happens when I respond to people's comments. I lose track of what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so what we're talking about bonus days, right? So um, you get to redeem them in in August, starting August August fourth, which is when the new August to December mini catalog goes live. So um, uh, let's see. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what else. Um, so the catalog goes live. Well, so if you are on my newsletter, you already know if you've read it that I now have published details about the upcoming product shares, the ones for the August to December mini catalog. So I'm not even finished fulfilling the current shares, partly because of back orders. Um, and, um, and yet here I am doing more, more product shares, but there's such great products that you have to check it out. So that goes between uh, now and August 3rd. So I am gonna close them a day earlier than I usually do. Um, I usually have tried to keep them open a day past when the catalog goes live in the, with the thinking that some people may need to see the catalog online. But this caused a little bit of uh, problems, especially with the back order issue in this last round. So I've decided I'm just going to close them the day before the catalog goes live. Um, and then that way I can order everything on the first day that the catalog goes live for those product shares. So uh, again, that deadline is August 3rd. There is an early bird special. And the early bird special, you have to reserve your shares by July 27th, pay for them by July 30th. I will send invoices starting on the 28th. Um, and if you've ordered five or more shares, you'll get a $5 coupon to spend, the one that you get to spend in August, starting August 4th. Um, and if you order all 10 shares, 
you'll get two $5 coupons. Now there's one caveat to this offer, and that is it's a first come first serve thing because I'm giving you basically the coupons that I have earned with my um, purchase so far in July, uh, and I only have so many of those. So the first people that order in um, the product shares will be the first people that get the coupons, and when they're gone, they're gone. So uh, just, just, just saying. <laughs> And all the details about my, my new product shares are on my website. Just look under the product shares tab for the August to December mini catalogs. You'll find everything there. Um, okay, so where are we now? Okay, I'm going to go right to the project demonstration. It's going to be a quick one tonight. Um, I'm going to share with you my in-color bookmark that I... Um, I give to all my club members, so they'll everybody will get one of those. I sent one to each of the people that participated in my 10 at 100 party in June, in early June. Um, and while supplies last, depending on how many I make, I will give one to each person who orders in the month of July. Um, and again, I'm only going to make so many, so when they're gone, they're gone. So you get to see what this is all about. I do an in-color bookmark every year. I've talked about it uh, before. I've showed you some of the ones that I've done before. Um, but today, I'm going to be using the Whale Done set, and I'm going to be using the Coordinating Embossing Folder. I'm going to show you the embossing folder in just a minute. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera down, and we'll go ahead and get started. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> see a few names pop up as I stand up and look at the phone, my camera. All righty. So this is going to be a quick one. So I have printed um, this bookmark onto a piece of 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock and then cut it down. So I have four on a sheet. And the way I do this is I just... Um, I'm going to stamp this one just to show you, but then I do sort of a mass production kind of thing. So I'm using this adorable little fish in here with my Just Jade, and I'm going to nest my little fish around the, the sentiment or the word. It's not a sentiment. And then I'm just going to take this other stamp that's in the set and stamp it once, and then stamp it a second time to the left. Now, fast forward <laughs> to doing multiple per page. So what I do when I do this, if you have any interest in making these, um, I do all my pinks, and then I clean my stamps, and then I do all my blues, and just go on down the line. And then I cut it down. Now I have created a PDF uh, for this, this document um, with some basic instructions down the bottom. Really simple. If you want this PDF, it's going to be on my website tomorrow. So if you want to make a whole bunch of these, you can, or if you want to just make one. Now I have printed it onto cardstock, so there's all my finished stamping. Super easy. Measures one and three quarters by eight and five eighths long. So that's my finished one there. And the part that I especially like about this that I wanted to show you tonight is I like to show the ink stamped on white. And then I also like to show the cardstock itself, but what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you not just that, but also the ink on the cardstock also, okay, with a trick. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pull this stuff aside. And I know lots of you have probably seen this before, but you're just going to love it when I'm finished with what I'm doing. I know you will. <laughs> so here's my, these are my big shot got a pink of my magenta madness cardstock and I've got my I've written the title on my seabed embossing folder here and I'm just going to ink it up with my magenta madness ink I know isn't it the cutest little set this whale of a time I wasn't a hundred percent convinced about it um, early on and then I started seeing things fellow demonstrators showing adorable cute things and I love the little whale the whale is just adorable there's a punch that coordinates so I should show you that I've made just one card with this stamp set aside from the bookmark but I can't show you because it's it has to be a surprise for another time <laughs> I know torturing you okay so now I'm gonna put my card stock here on the right side so I can get my placement and I'm going to make sure that I've got ink all over so that when I fold it over, it's going to be completely on this. 
Now, one thing I could do is I could just rub it and then see, um, and basically just stamp that ink right onto the paper. But I'm gonna take one step further and I'm gonna dry emboss it as well. Now, I've inked up the flat side of the embossing folder um, and you'll know, I think, what I mean when I pull this out of here. So there is my finished uh, inked embossing folder or paper with cardstock. I just love how that turned out. Now, because I inked the flat part of the embossing folder, it's in the recesses, leaving those raised parts and all the detail, what is the actual magenta madness, and then the recessed parts are the, um, of course, the inked magenta madness. So I just love the way that looks. Now, I little tip here, um, almost all of the pinks and reds will stain. Um, so I actually have a basin off to the side here. I'm going to take this and put it in my basin so that, um, so that I don't stain my embossing folder. So just one sec, I'll be right back. Just rinsing it off a little bit. And then I'm going to leave it in the water for the time being because I'm not going to do anything more with it. Okay, so now here's where even more fun begins. Okay, where's my thing? So I did this for all five colors. Isn't that just sumptuous? It's beautiful. I love it. Makes me so happy to see all these. <laughs> what do you what do you guys think? Isn't it pretty? Now you're gonna you know, how am I gonna get it on the bookmark? They're these huge big pieces, right? Okay, so here's what I did. I cut them down. Where do I? Hold on one sec. Into I cut I I cut these specifically so that I could cut them this way the long way and get three long strips and then I can cut off these little tiny thin strips here make sense so I'm going to get how much did I decide six six times three I think I'm going to get eighteen uh, eighteen um, out of this one sheet. So I've done four of each of these, I think. Anyway, you do the math. <laughs> so this is how it's going to start looking once I actually assemble it. All of my strips there. Now what I did was I would cut all my strips, but you might notice that if I cut it like this and I use all these strips, pretty much all of the patterns are going to be the same. And I wanted them to be different on each bookmark. So what I've done is I took, um, you know, I cut all these in sets and then I mixed them all up so there'd be different patterns on each, for each bookmark color, for each color of the panel. So you can see how they're different patterns. So I'm going to just attach this one. This has adhesive on it already. Now, I, you know, usually what I do when I do these bookmarks is I, I, I punch out with a, um, you know, some shape with a punch. But I figured this would be at least as easy uh, as doing a punch. Uh, and it would, it's just so fun because I think it shows off that uh, embossing folder and you get so much texture and different ways of looking at the color. Um, <laughs> so to finish off my bookmark, I just got a few little last details. So I'm using this punch, which I have labeled so I don't have to remember it, <laughs> the scallop tag topper punch. And I've cut pieces of my in color cardstock, all five different colors. So all the bookmarks are going to be a little bit different because of that. And then my stamped bookmark with all the pieces and parts has adhesive on the back. I'm just going to attach that. It's not quite on there right. I have to trim this off. I'll be right back. I don't actually have a finished one because I gave them all away already. I um, sent off most of the 10 at 100 party goodies 
earlier this week, and every last bookmark was spoken for. So I have all these others that are in production, but none that are finished. So now I have one that's almost finished. So next I'm going to take um, a piece of my in color uh, ribbon. Now this in color ribbon has been the culprit of <laughs> my the delays in my current bat in my current product shares because uh, it's been way on back order and I still have some that hasn't even arrived yet. So um, the product shares are late and the in colors are one of the main shares where there's been a hold up. So I'm going to take some of my ribbon and fold it in half, poke it through my little hole. You guys have probably seen this little trick. Make a little opening and then just weave my ribbon through and just gently pull the ends, not to rip that top piece, but just ever so gently. And you can use whatever ribbon you want. Trim the ribbon off however you want. I like to do it sort of like that. So there's points in the center or the low point in the center, one way or the other. And there's my finished bookmark. Now most of my bookmarks I actually used a white ribbon because because this ribbon's on, been on back order, I, I don't really have any that I can say is my own. This was a scrap <laughs> somebody gave me, actually. So I uh, happened to be able to do that. But most of them have had a, a white ribbon on them. So there is my bookmark. I know, labor of love. <laughs> yes, and I'm making, let's see, maybe, how many did I decide? I don't know, something around 70 or so of them. So lots of bookmarks. All righty, so... I am ready to grab my phone and start the portion of this presentation that is the behind the scenes tour. Yay, hearts, thank you somebody. <laughs> I get to click on the wave. Again, some of you have little wave buttons next to your names and some of you don't, so I don't know why you do or don't, but if I see one, I gotta, I gotta wave if I can. Okay, so now I'm going to face the camera at me for one minute, and then I'm going to tour around my space. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Nancy. Yay. Okay, so um, my face is back, but I'm going to turn around in just one sec. So I'm going to walk around my space and show you a little bit about what I, ha what I have going on here, um, mostly on the tables that are opposite me that I always show you with the blank boards. Here we go. So you saw them just a second ago, right? Blank boards. All right, so let's go over. And I guess I can turn it around already. Okay, so there's my embossing folder. <laughs> Soaking in the pink. Okay, so these two tables here, I keep pointing at them, right? I got a bunch of stuff going on. So over here are all the shares that I'm working on filling, and they're mostly done. And part of why I wanted to show you guys this tour is because I've got shares for the annual catalog over here, and over on this table, I've got all my goodies for my new shares that are for the um, August to December mini catalog. So different stages of the production process, and I just kind of love this because it's super fun to sort of play with, get my hands on all these products. So I'm just going to kind of start over here and just do a quick little walkthrough. Um, and they're, they're all labeled. So I think I had uh, 33 people participate this for the annual catalog shares, and there were 161 shares altogether. So that's individual ones. So each one of these is an individual share. The ones that are open are ones that um, are not finished yet. So Forever Greenery was another one of the shares that was like super popular, that sweet. And so all of the ribbon, guess what? It's all under my table. <laughs> it just arrived today for anybody who's waiting for shares. So I have to wrap it up. And you can see each share has, you know, whatever they have in it. And that is a quarter roll of ribbon. So one of the things I did this time around is I sort of hoard things. So like things that I think that might be useful later down the line. So down here, you'll see I have a whole bunch of old ribbon rolls. I've been keeping ribbon rolls for uh, as long as I've been a demonstrator, like 25 years. <laughs> No, not 25 years, 17 years. Um, I've used a whole bunch of them on these shares. I decided it would actually be a lot easier to use the rolls and to roll them up that way. I'm going to run out of them pretty quick, and I can't do it for stuff like the end colors because there's five colors per share. So I, for those, I custom cut little pieces of chipboard, and I wrap them around, um, and a lot of them I wrap chipboard around. So the in colors, the forever greenery, 
And then also this one, the world of good had some things that were on back order as well. So that's where I am with the current shares. With the things that are under my table, I'll be able to fill most of them, most of the shares and send them out. But there are still some things that are have not yet arrived. And for those things, some people who were the last people to order are going to be the last people that get their shares. So I'm sorry, people, but you snooze, you lose. <laughs> That sounds bad. Okay, so here. So this is my table of um, the August to December mini catalog shares. So when this catalog went live for us as demonstrators, pre-orders, I ordered a little bit of everything, and we could do that with the, um, with the mini catalogs. And so I set up little piles of each of um, the suites, so the heartwarming hugs, and then all the little embellishments there. And then that one, I have them laced the point set up place. What is it called? Trimming the Town. Um, I have to remember all these names, right? Wonder of the Season. And then I do them in order of how they appear in the catalog. This one right here, the Snowflake Splendor. I had to buy the whole uh, sweet collection. Just, I love snowflakes. Love, love, love them. So um, anyway, and you can see I've got my ribbon all piled up because I've basically only cut one set of ribbon from, for the share that I have as my example. And then I've measured all the other pieces. Um, now, I haven't sold them yet, so I'm not going to cut it yet. But you can see all the fun, fun ribbons. So I lay it all out, and I get to know these products like they're my friends. <laughs> anyway, they are. They're good friends. Um, so, um, oh, you're so, so, so sweet, Nancy, to offer to end, end, send me spools. Um, when I run out, I will let you know. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are lots of spools out in the world that could get recycled. I love to reuse and recycle. So I do want to point out one thing. Okay, so this is the cover of the August to December catalog. I can't show you inside. It drives me crazy that I can't. This is my menu of product share offering opportunities, the front and the back. And it has all the details in it of every last thing, what comes in the share and the quantity of each thing on down the line. Very detailed. This is a lot of work, but it is a labor of love, as somebody mentioned. Uh, I see, Barbara, you love the Snowflake Suite, too. <laughs> so one thing that I'm doing this year that's new, I'm going to show you on my menu, these last two shares. There are only eight suites, but I have ten shares. So I'm doing an embellishment assortment and a specialty items assortment. They're things that don't belong to suites, but they're wonderful, wonderful products. And I thought, well, if it was me, I'd want a little bit of them. So one of them is specialty items. You don't see them here. I'll show them when I get back to my um, crafting space. But the other one is this embellishments assortment. Check out these lovely sequins. Now, these are sequins that have no holes in them, and they're four different colors, so they come in this lovely little pack right here. I've divided this pack into four parts. So each person gets one each of each color in these little bags, if you do a share. And then these are um, the adhesive back sequins. This is actually half a pack, 130 pieces. And then that, you would get half of, um, half of that. That is actually half of it. So um, anyway, so those are my two new shares that I'm doing this time. So now, let's see what else I have. So I, I, I package everything so meticulously, I, I'm like a nut. But see all my bags down here? So there's a bag for everything. So I reuse things where I can, but sometimes, you know, I need an extra little cello that fits the perfect size for the designer paper, so I get those. And then I use every last container in my space. You can see I've got all these miscellaneous containers. When I do these product shares, I have like a million little containers, and they pretty much all come out. <laughs> So um, and I'm going to turn the camera around to say hello to my face. I think I've showed you everything under the tables and on the tables. So now I'm going to head back to my crafting space. And um, now what I have in store is to show you, I'll show you my little box of goodies before we get into it. I have no idea how much time has passed. I love doing this, so I lose track of time. So this is my box of all my non-consumables that I bought, the things that, you know, stamps and punches and dies and everything. So I'm going to quickly go through that. And then this is the product shares. And then I'll go through each of the designer papers, show the patterns in each for anybody that wants to stick around and look. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my camera back in my little stand here. And I guess I should probably face the camera the other way. And then I'm going to show you all these goodies. 
Okay, we'll see, we'll see how the numbers go. If you guys stick around, you actually want to see this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to actually turn the camera to face me. That way I can see your comments when you say things as I show all these lovely products. So before we do that, I, I'd love to know, did you like the behind the scenes tour? Was it fun or was it totally boring? <laughs> Seeing the whole production line, I cut chipboard specifically for all the different parts and pieces and wrap it all up. I'm just a nut, but I just love getting my hands on all the Stampin' Up! products and um, I get to know them and and then it inspires me to play with them too. Okay, so we're gonna start with, um, <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Kathleen, yay. <laughs> and I see some hearts coming across the screen, wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you the actual assembled chair, you know, so I get to put these cute little packages together, all the production stuff you saw. I wrap the ribbon around and, you know, divide these all up and cut the card stock in half, that, or the designer paper rather. But you can't see the designer paper by looking at this, so I have to show you the actual designer paper. So, we're gonna show you all the patterns, and of course you get pieces that are six by 12, just makes it easy, cut them in half. Um, now I have this friend, I'm sure I've talked to you about her, my friend Jennifer. She works as a framer and she has lots of leftover extra chipboard. So she gives me these lovely chipboard pieces that are actually matte board. So they're beautiful. So I match the color. This is red and that's red. <laughs> I know. Crazy detail, right? Okay, so quickly through this one, this is the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper. So we'll just do a quick look at the front sides and then the back sides. I know, I'm a nut. Christy calls me a nut. <laughs> oh my goodness. So these are really lovely, sort of relatively easy patterns to work with because they're not super busy. So that's one of the things I really like about them. Color scheme is just beautiful for the whole Christmas theme. Super pretty. Now there is also an embossing folder that goes with this particular suite and I have those. It's actually a pair. Um, and I did the, the good job of labeling them so I wouldn't have to remember their names. So these are wrapped in texture and they both, um, they come in a pack together. So they'll fit into the little mini, uh, what are we calling it? The die cutting machine? <laughs> that is gonna be coming out um, soon, I think. I can't remember what the date is. So that is Heartwarming Hugs. We'll move on to the next one, which is the point set a place. So this is the share, has four items in it, which you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell by looking at it, but there's the ribbon and then these lovely pearl embellishments. There are actually three pearls uh, with the little, I don't know if you can see, it's hard to explain it, three pearls with the little doohickeys in between them. <laughs> And then there's some other specialty paper back in here. So let's take a look at that. Because that paper is um, really pretty. Don't ask me what it's called, but it's really pretty. It's different. It has like flocking. And um, I'm having trouble getting this one out of its package. All right, so let's show you that specialty paper first. So can you see the, the lovely texture and flocking on there? So the poinsettia, and it's, it's like, I don't know, velvet-ish on the surface. And then this one, this nice, really neutral sort of pattern. Um, and then this one right here with the holly, holly leaves, I guess. Okay, somebody else having trouble? I said somebody said they're having trouble. Streaming is not good today. Darn, I'm so sorry. I keep cutting out. That's no fun. Well, hopefully it won't get recorded that way. Maybe you can go back and watch the replay. All right, so on with to the designer paper. So this is the poinsettia paper. And these are just really beautiful patterns. Fuzzy surface. Yes, it's a fuzzy surface, exactly. It's really pretty paper, that poinsettia specialty paper. And then onto the back sides of this poinsettia paper. And I was actually kind of surprised. I expected there to be more reds in this, because when I think of poinsettias, I think of red, um, but there's really not a lot of red. 
I'm glad to know your connection is fine, Mary. I'm sorry other people are struggling, though. Hopefully it will get better. My internet's been very spotty lately, too. I don't know about you guys, but, and it's, you know, it's like we've grown accustomed to having it there when we want it. Dang it, and when it's not, it's really annoying. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the, let's see, poinsettia place suite. Moving along to the trimming, trimming the town. There's this one. Look at that adorable paper. Is that not adorable? I think it's so cute. And this one has embellishments and this sh shiny edged ribbon. You see how it's gold on the edges. Um, and I think it's, I wanna say it's Poppy Parade and Old Olive. I can't remember if that red is Poppy Parade or not. Maybe it's real red. I think it's Poppy Parade. Anyway, um, so that's that. And then let's look at the patterns on this designer paper. I especially love that front one. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I grew up ice skating. Do you see the ice skating rink there? Of course you do. Um, and some of that's covered up, of course, but here's the second half of that sheet. So this one, of course, has the mountains and everything, but doesn't have the ice skate, the ice skating rink on it. So uh, you have to cut it in half somewhere, right? And then all the little cute little houses. Which ribbon? Oh, yes, that ribbon. Now that ribbon, those rolls come in 10, 10 yards each. A lot of them, when they're specialty, they're five yards each, but I guess because those are thin, um, Every, you get 10, or 10 yards of each. So when you do a share, you get two and a half yards of each ribbon. Um, the way I've done it, uh, just to make it easy, is I'm, I've decided to divide it in four. So you're end up getting, up getting, it's just easier to divide it evenly than to actually measure. So, um, and it also comes out more evenly because most things, most products, I'm dividing either by two or four. Um, so it's just uh, ends up more likely to be an even, um, even share it makes any sense so I, I'm sure I've said this before but I don't I don't get one of everything I don't allow myself to do that unless there's something that I really really love um, so what ends up happening a lot of times sometimes I'll end up with items from a share that I don't even love that much but it's okay because it makes me get creative with what I have um, and I play with it and I have a lot of fun with it so um, so anyway, I, I get leftovers and then I get the things that I especially love. <laughs> all right, so this is the wonder of the season share. This is the biggest of, of all. There's six items in this share. Most of them have four or uh, a couple of them have three. There's one that has two. But this one has a lot of things in it, so I kind of need to unpack it a bit. There's actually two designer papers in this one. One of them is a six by six designer paper. And there's a lot of patterns in this, so I'm gonna run it through so it super quickly. Ah yes, Poppy Parade. So you looked it up for me. Thank you, Nancy. You <laughs> that or you know. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Let's see, and on the back it tells me what colors the, these are. So while I show you, I'll tell you the colors. So there's basic black, cherry cobbler, garden green, real red, shaded spruce, and whisper white. That's the color scheme for this paper. The other paper is 12 by 12 paper that comes in this set, and it's uh, it's totally different. There's no reds and greens in it at all. It's um, it's all uh, well, you'll see it, but it's like golds and whites and browns and sort of more neutrals. Is that the side I showed? Oh no, I think I did show that side. <laughs> I'm getting confused. I think this is the side I didn't show. It's all blurring together now. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, somebody chime in if I'm showing the same side because I can't remember what I did. It's like when I'm in a yoga class and the teacher tells you, you know, what to do and then you forget when they say, oh, you know what we're doing on the other side. It's like, no, I need you to guide me. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I'm showing you the right side. <clears throat> so, yeah, so these are lots of different patterns. These 12 by 12 packs end up, I'm sorry, the 6 by 6 packs end up having so many different options. It's almost overwhelming. Oh, it's right. Okay, good. Thanks for telling me, Mary. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Always a little help, little help from my friends. Okay, so this is the pack of the 12 by 12 paper that comes in this suite. And like I said, really different. Now I cut it a different way just because it seemed like it might be more useful for people to have it cut this way than the other way. So um, anyway, you can see the gold elements in there. It's like an old newspaper, something. 
And then there's red. Now this red handwriting or writing, what shall we say? That's another red one. More gold. And then on the back sides, we got all black and white. So just uh, lots of different things to play with here. It's got that sort of vintagey look. Okay. All right, so, you know, I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but I can do my darndest to show you as much as possible, right? Okay, so just to point out, so that's two of the six items that are in this Wonder of the Season share. So the other things are the ribbon. So there's two different ribbons. There's embellishments right there. Um, and then what else is in here? And then there's the uh, Memories and More cards, um, which are like four by six, and then there's some that are is it two by three. I think that's what it is. And then, um, and then these are envelopes and, um, and cards. So, and you get 10 of each. So it's a very robust little pack there. Um, it is also the most expensive of all of the shares because there's so much in that one. Okay, next up, my absolute favorite is that Snowflake Splendor. So this one has four products in it, again, there's the designer paper and then this gorgeous uh, balmy blue glimmer paper in the back. I'll show you a full size sheet in a second. And then these um, gems, which are actually two different sizes and two different colors. I don't know if you can tell that. There's, it's sort of subtle there. And then the ribbon itself is like frosty. You gotta check that out. You probably can see it there. I, it looks like you'll be able to see it. Anyway, so pretty. I love snowflakes. You love snowflakes too, don't you, Mary? I think I remember that about you. <laughs> Ah, oh, you love it too. Okay, so let's take a close look at this paper. I'm just gonna pause here. I'm just gonna like show it to you all night long. I'm gonna go, hmm, I'm gonna hug my paper. <laughs> okay, so there's my Bombay Blue Glimmer paper. Is that not gorgeous? Love it. And I'm going to show you also, oh yes, I, I also got the stamp set and dies, of course, because I got the sweet collection. So I'm gonna have to show you that in a moment. So there's side one of I use the side ones of the paper. The dies are just gorgeous. And then there's an embossing folder too. I am just gonna just have a blast playing with those, I know. Okay, so back sides. Going a little bit fast, just uh, not to uh, be here all night. Isn't that pretty? I love those kinds of patterns. You guys probably know me well to know that. This one, so pretty. Just love it. Sumptuous. That's my word. <laughs> That's my word for this product suite and that paper. There's one other thing I'm going to get to it shortly that just, yeah, I just went crazy when I saw it. Love it. Can't wait to show you. Okay, but before I do that, I have to show you the stamp set and dies that coordinate with this paper that I just showed you. So this is what goes with the Snowflake Splendor Suite. These are my favorite snowflakes that Stampin' Up! has come out, come out with in I, many, many years. I just, I love those shapes. Um, they just look like real snowflakes or like the kind you make when you're, you know, cutting snowflakes. And then um, this, the embossing folder. I haven't actually embossed with any of the new embossing folders, but I'm dying to. And then this is the set of dies. Very detailed, beautiful um, snowflakes. Can't wait to see those actually cut out. Just can't wait. Okay, can't wait to show you guys a project. Okay, so what next? Um, show you that. Okay, so the next suite that's up to show you is the Gilded Autumn. Let me get this stuff put back here, so not a disaster. Okay, so this is Gilded Autumn. Beautiful, beautiful paper. It's a specialty paper, so it has um, it's copper and gold elements, I believe. Um, and I always, I always struggle with picking what goes on the top because <laughs> they're really pretty. So usually it's like one of my favorites. You wonder if the dyes match up with the paper? You mean with the snowflakes? I wonder. I'll have to let you know when I play around with it. Um, okay, so anyway, the, there's four products in this. The designer paper, this brushed metallic um, cardstock, which is... That's what I just like went nuts over the other day. I looked at it and it was like, oh, stop my heart. It was like creative bliss moment. 
<laughs> so I can't wait to show you. Um, and then of course these lovely ribbons. This is like a woven, it's like a woven textured ribbon. And this is shiny and sort of copperish. And then the lovely acorns. So this is a beautiful, beautiful set of products. Um, and if you love fall and leaves and all that, you're, you're just gonna love it. Okay, so let's show you the designer paper to start with. I have to give you a nice, good close up. So that's the one I, that I have on the top. It was hard to pick a favorite on this one. Love this one too, with its gold and copper. Tell me what your favorites are. I forgot to say that. Jump in. I know some of you have already done that. Um, but I'd love to hear what your favorites are. I usually, when I do the product shares, it's a great way to know what uh, is the most popular. And it's always fun and interesting to see um, what most people want to buy. So the Forever Fern the, of the current shares and like I said, the World of Good, the In Color share, those were the most popular of the shares and of course the things that were on back order. <laughs> okay, so the back sides of this Gilded Autumn paper, a little more on the neutral side, which is super pretty colors. See that one's got some shine to it. Love that one too, the simple stripes. It is hard to decide. That's part of why I love my product shares because I don't have to decide and you don't have to be there. <laughs> you get to get a little bit of everything. That's the way I am. When I go to a restaurant, I want a little bit of everything. I, want, I don't want just one dish. <laughs> okay, so were you guys ready for the brushed metallic cardstock? So it comes in three colors and each share is gonna include one piece. I'm like, I want a drum roll please, you know, cause I'm like, holding off on showing you for just one sec. <laughs> so this is this lovely brushed um, metallic paper in three different colors and the camera probably does not do it justice, but it is just so pretty. It's got like, you know, that those streaky elements to it. It's not, you know, it's shiny, but not super shiny. Anyway, this is just gonna be so much fun to play with. So. If you guys are familiar, if any of you are familiar with um, my black ice technique, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was, ooh, it would be, you know, the streaky thing that I do with the black ice might work really well with this paper. I don't know if it would really show up too well, but I think it's going to have to be tried. So that is what, one of my favorites is this brushed metallic cardstock or paper. Um, what do you guys think? You guys know I love the metallics. <laughs> Crazy for those metallics. And the earth tones. Just love earth tones. Okay, so while we're on that, I got to show you. There is a stamp set that goes with the Gilded Autumn Suite. This is the beautiful autumn set. And it comes with, if you get the bundle, a set of adorable little punches. Now last year there was a set in the catalog that had adorable little punches too. They were multi-seasonal. This is more, you know, all fall. But I love the shapes of those leaves, so that should be very fun to play with. Set that aside. Okay, so now moving on to the next product suite, which is the Magic in This Night. I think on the share thing I called Magic in the Night, but it's Magic in This Night. <laughs> Not in any night, just this night. So anyway, this is the share. Check out that ribbon. You probably saw it on my table when I went by. It's like this very feathery, it's wide. Um, such fun ribbon there. And then these embellishments, they call them black, but they're like iridescent. I guess they have iridescent in the name. Yeah, they do. And then the papers are beautiful. So these papers, I, you know, I like Halloween, but it's not necessarily my first go-to thing. Um, but I do love black and white. And the thing I especially love about these papers is they've got one side that's really all about Halloween and the other side is more neutral. Like you can use it for anything. So like this, I mean, it's black flowers, but that doesn't mean it's Halloween. And I just think that paper is stunning. So pretty. <laughs> Come by and get a catalog, Mary. There's one here for you. <laughs> um, and I, I need to speak to that too. So this one is one of the ones that, uh, you know, it's not really Halloween. It might be, you could interpret it that way, but not necessarily. And then this one, I love that pattern. So pretty. That one's more Halloween-y, I think. Oh, and I love this one too. Anything with those type shapes, I just adore. And uh, anything with spiders, I can do without. Just saying. <laughs> I'm not a fan.
fan of spiders. Anybody else out there not a fan of spiders? It's like my least favorite thing of Halloween. Um, okay, so back sides. Of course, this one's totally neutral. Another one that's similar to that first one, this gorgeous black and white with flowers and the streaks. Um, and look at the detail in those bats. Just, I mean, I'm not big on bats, but I think that's so cool. It's so pretty. Uh, that's looked familiar. No, I mean, there must be one that's like that one. It was a different color. Okay, that must have shown you that one. Okay, now the other thing that's in this suite is this gorgeous black glimmer paper. Isn't that pretty? So fun, and it's a little bit thinner than most of the glimmer paper, so probably a little bit easier to cut out as well. So that is the Magic in This Night suite. And again, there's four products in that one uh, as well. Okay, so we're getting down to the wire here. So this is the last of the suites, so the Plaid Tidings suite. It only has two products in it the designer paper, the six by six pieces, and then this absolutely gorgeous ribbon. Just love that ribbon, great texture to it. It's also kind of one of those ribbons that's very supple, so easy to work with. Your dog tends to eat, what does your dog eat, Kimmy? <laughs> I think I, oh, spiders, do they eat, do your dog eat spiders? I guess that's probably a good thing from my perspective. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, good dog. <laughs> All right, so these are the patterns in the plaid tidings. And when I looked through these, I just thought, man's shirt. Like you've got to make a card that is like a whole set, like a man's closet of shirts for every season, you know, for Halloween, for Christmas, for every time of the year. It's like endless plaid. It's, they're beautiful. Yes. You think so too, Christy, I see. Okay, and the back sides. Yeah, plaid is very fun. I like it too. There's actually a set of dies in the mini that is all about plaid. Like you can, it's like, I think they're called plaid builder. And I was sort of intrigued, didn't bite the bullet and buy it yet, but uh, who knows, maybe it'll happen. <laughs> I try not to go too crazy with what I buy for my own personal use, just because, you know, you can only use so much. There's only so many hours of the day and uh, so many hours that I can actually dedicate to creating as much as I would like to do it 24 seven. I can't always do that. I mean, I can never do that actually. Mm, notice me sad. <laughs> okay, so moving right along. Okay, so I showed you this embellishment assortment, right? And I, sh I did some close-ups of that when I was over at the table, but you can see a little bit of everything in there. Um, and I hope this, this is a, a good thing. I hope people find this to be um, helpful. So this has some of the felt sheets in it, the sequins um, that are, I'm sorry, the snowflakes that have adhesive on the back, these um, sequins that don't have holes in the center, and then this medley of snowflakes. So these are items that are in different places throughout the catalog, don't necessarily go with a given suite, but they might go with a, a bundle. I just don't remember which ones they go with. Okay, so last but not least, this is the specialty items assortment. So when I looked through, I you know, noticed these items, like I gotta have those. Other people might want a few of those. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these out of the bag and show you them because they're really quite lovely items. So there's this set of um, cards. So it's got that nice gold edging. Um, the share is actually five card bases and five of these sort of brushed metallic envelopes. So really lovely. And then the other pieces, so these are all like paper things. So the second thing in here is this lovely velvet red paper. I mean, it's just like soft, you can see. I'm enjoying stroking it, <laughs> my velvet paper. And then last but not least, this a wonderful metallic foil sheets in the red and the green. And of course, in the share, you get one of each, the six by 12. So I think it's just a really nice way to try out a little bit of each of these specialty items. See if you like them. You can always buy more if you decide you do. Um, and uh, so anyway, yeah. So just hopefully that helps people out to try a little bit of things and then you don't have to just make as many decisions about what to buy because you get to get a little bit of a lot of things.
when you do the shares. Okay, so that's it for the shares, but I do have a few other things that I've bought that don't go with sweets and just a medley of a few other things. So um, don't have too much more. <laughs> Hang with me on this. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I loved the aqua painters in the, um, uh, the annual catalog, well, what we've had for years, right? So they came up with these new water painters. I had to buy some, even though I have lots of aqua painters, to see what, you know, what the difference was. They look like they're beautiful quality, like they actually hold more water, and each one of them has a different size brush. So that has, I think that's the medium size, and then there's a small size. I'll show them all. And then the last one, which we didn't have anything like this before, is this this little this fat you know fat one <laughs> for lack of a better description so anyway so those are really fun I'm excited for to try out these new water painters and then I also got foam adhesive sheets um, you can see they're basically sheets of, of dimensionals if you will so you can just cut off whatever size you want and raise a whole thing up instead of you know having to cut all these little tiny dimensionals to go on the back um, they came out with another one of these punches. So this is like, or is that the same one? Oh, that's the same one. Where'd the new one go? There's a new one. Darn it. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Anyway, there's a new one that's different shapes at the top. It's actually a banner. So you can do a pointy banner or a, you know, a V-like banner. Um, I don't know where I put it. I put it in the wrong place. But um, you get the idea. I'll show it to you sometime, some other time. Now this uh, embossing folder, Evergreen Forest, had to have that because I love trees and forests, you know. So that's going to be fun to play with, my embossing folder there. And then this, I don't know if you guys noticed, where's my catalog? On the front of the catalog, all those lovely trees that immediately caught my eye. It's a beautiful catalog cover. And this, this um, bundle in the pines, which coordinates with pine woods, the pine woods dies. Those are the trees that are on the cover of the annual, of the, uh, the mini catalog. So I just, there was no question in my mind, I was like getting that because I just love the cover and what they did. Now I also love fall leaves, so I got this um, love of leaves uh, stamp. I had to be a little bit convinced by it, so playing with it should be fun. Um, they didn't immediately speak to me, but we'll see what I do with it. And then there's coordinating dies. Now these are interesting dies. I'll give you a close-up look because you get an outside piece and an inside piece. Um, and so I guess, so you can see like for that top one, they come apart. And so I guess you can just do the outline or you can dry emboss the inside with those inside elements. And then this whole piece here is kind of a bit of a curious thing. So, uh, you know, who knows? Should be fun to play with. And then I think this is last but not least. This was a set that I just loved when I saw it in the catalog. Life is beautiful. What a perfect thing to end on, don't you think? <laughs> Life is beautiful. So I love the shape of that big tree in there. I don't know. It just, just does something for me. And then it has, you know, the snow and the leaves and then you know, the whatever. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to be flowers. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought there were some sweet, sweet little elements in here. I love the shape of that tree, so had to have it. What I always tell people when you are looking at products in the catalog, if there's one image in a set that you absolutely love and, you know, just can't stand not having, even if there's 10 other or five other that you aren't moved by, you will still get value out of that stamp set a ton because if you love that one image, you're gonna use it a bunch. So get what you love, that's what I always say. All righty, oh my gosh, that was a lot. <laughs> was that a lot or what? So um, I guess just a quick little recap, let me grab my notes. Um, so remember, if you order in July, first come, first serve, you get one of these in with your free card kits, because I always do free card kits as well. Um, while supplies last for orders in July. Um, 
and don't forget to check out my Tasty of Sweet product shares for the new mini catalog as well. For those of you that are waiting for shares, those of you who ordered early, those are going to get to go out because I now have enough to finish all the things that were back ordered for a good fraction of the people that ordered. So, um, and you know, up, update the rest of you who <laughs> may be still waiting a little longer. Um, what else? What else must I share? Um, if you don't have a mini catalog yet and you're not a regular customer of mine or you're not sure if you qualify to get a catalog, let me know and I'd be happy to send you one um, if your intention, of course, is to do business with me. Um, I do send them to my customers who've ordered $50 or more in the last six months um, or, you know, a little bit longer uh, automatically. And I do have my catalogs in hand, so I'm going to be sending those out. In fact, everybody who's getting product shares is getting a catalog in with their product shares. Everybody who did the 10 at 100, you guys probably already have yours yet already. So, or it's coming tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, those are coming, um, those mini catalogs. So have fun looking at them when they come. <laughs> so much fun. Um, and let's see what else. We've got plenty of time for the product shares, but the early bird bonus deadline is July 27th, which will be here before we know it. And you have to order five or more in order to get it. And only those people who order while supplies last get that early bird bonus. So just as a reminder, only have so many coupons to give away. Um, all righty. I got to take a big, deep breath. <laughs> So I will be back same time, same channel next Thursday. Um, there is an outside chance I may take a break next week, but I will let you know we are taking a trip to go visit my daughter whose birthday is actually today. Um, so we're going to go visit her in West Virginia and really very much looking forward to doing that. But we're, we're leaving Friday, so we'll see whether I have it enough together to, uh, to do a Facebook Live on Thursday night. <laughs> but uh, that's my intention at the moment. We'll see, though. So... Um, I will let you know. It'll be in the newsletter on Wednesday. I'll let you know. Okay, so um, if not next Thursday, it will be the following Thursday. And thank you so much for joining me and for checking out all these fun things with me. And uh, I'll look forward to reading your comments. And, um, and I will respond as well. And if you're joining on the replay, welcome too. And um, I'll look forward to hearing from you also in your comments. So till next time. <laughs> thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> um, uh, have a great day and have a great weekend and happy crafting, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Yay, hearts. Thank you. <laughs> I love seeing those hearts. Oh, and hand clapping, too. Yay, Kay. Thank you. <laughs>